hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve a cut crease makeup look if you want to learn how to do this just keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos let's get started I'm gonna start off by applying a concealer to my eyelids to cancel out any redness or darkness on my eyes. This step is very important because it will make your eyeshadows pop more and as well it will make them last longer. To prevent creasing I'm gonna use this shade Babe from the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette and set my concealer. With the color Sandwood, I'm going to use it as my transition color. You always want to start with a transition shade to be able to blend everything out. It just makes things so much easier and it works as a guide of where you should be placing your eyeshadow. With this mauve shade, it's called Suede. I'm going to apply it on the outer corner of my crease with a blending brush and I'm mainly concentrating this on the outer corner and blending the rest of it inwards. With a pencil brush I'm gonna apply this shade Henna and apply it right on the outer corner as you guys can see. I'm mainly concentrating all of these colors in the outer corner and then blending them in. Then to clean everything up, I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend everything together. Using my color wheel, I'm just cleaning up my brush a little bit and I'm going to go in with this shade right here with a pencil brush again and just concentrate this kind of darker raspberry color on the outer corner and then I'm blending so there's no harsh lines and everything looks nice and even. Taking these two shades from the contour palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to start making my cut crease shape with the help of a lip brush. And as you guys can see, I'm starting with small strokes and then I'm flicking out my outer corner, making sort of like an eyeliner shape. This always takes a little bit of practice, but eventually you guys will be able to do it. And then don't forget to conceal the rest of your eyelid as well. Now I'm going to take this color black truffle with my Sigma E06. I love this brush because it gives me the precision that I need to achieve a wink eyeliner. And I'm just doing this eyeliner just halfway. I'm not going all the way in. And then for the center of my eyelid, I'm going to take the shade Fling and I'm applying it with a flat uh, brush from Baramoda. And then to make this color pop a little bit more, I'm going to be using my fingers to apply it. Now I'm going to use the rose gold shade and apply it on the inner corner of my eyelid and repeat the same steps. Now as you guys can see I'm defining this eyeliner a little bit more using the Sigma E06 brush to help me with this. Next I'm going to clean this eyeliner with a little bit of concealer with an angle brush. And then I'm going to apply my mascara to my upper and bottom lashes. To finish this makeup look, I'm going to be taking the eyelashes from La Page Trends. These are in style raspberry and they are my favorite. And this is how the eyes look, you guys. I love, love how it turned out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. As well, don't forget to comment down below if you found this video helpful. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.